Good evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing a strange Priest Hearthstone Arena run. I drafted a deck that has some solid endgame, but way too high of a curve, and not enough early plays. In the first two games, we started out behind in both cases. In the first game, my opponent played turn one coin innervate Yeti, and in the second game, uh, my opponent just had a novice engineer followed by a blessing of kings that wrecked my early board state, but we were able to cling on and win both. I did, however, have pretty decent early draws. In the first game, I had two, three, four as my curve, and in the second game, I had two, four drops, but I mind visioned the coin, which was actually helpful. And I have to confess, I am getting extremely lucky with my opening hands, considering how bad this deck's curve is. The fact that I have a two drop and a holy smite, it's pretty great. And a fairy dragon, wow! Well, Luke the mage here, mulligans three of his four cards, keeps this one on the end. Mind games. And you know, you never feel great playing mind games on turn four, do you? But, uh, yeah, I drew both my two drops. This was a, this was a, one of those things where it's like, I really need early creatures. And I got them. Okay. Since she used the coin for this... Well, let me think. Do I throw the Holy Smite at it? Nah, let's just play the Bloodsilla Raider. This is my last valuable creature. Let's trade it. She doesn't have enough mana to Shattered Sun Cleric or really buff this thing's health in any way. So they're pretty good to trade. And if she has a Frostbolt, then so be it. I'll just play Fairy Dragon and Holy Smite it. Not a problem. Alright, she's got an ooze and she's going to be a little bit cheeky, not trading minions with me. And she's going to get away with it in this case, but in general I don't think that was a good risk, as I never do. That was still more g-chatting from me folks, my apologies if that is disconcerting. So light spawn, tricky minion, mages can whittle it down, but then again I'm a priest so I can get it back up. Ah oh, jeez, Scarlet Crusader, okay. Well, here what I'm going to do actually is Mind Vision and then play the Monkey, because the Monkey holds up well against the Scarlet Crusader. Or at least tolerably well. My opponent can ping this and then kill it with the Divine Shield, but that's still spending her, causing her to spend half of her mana, as opposed to just being able to kill the Fairy Dragon for free. And then I can play Call Master, run the Fairy Dragon into the Scarlet Crusader and get a card. She has the perfect hand, which allows her to make a minion and kill the monkey. I am extremely unhappy about this. Extremely unhappy about it. Maybe I can get a soul priest? Nope. Abusive sergeant doesn't help in the slightest. Wow, it like really doesn't help at all. Alright, let's play Cult Master. Kill the 3-2. Draw a card. There's the soul priest. You know what? I'm actually going to play this tech play right here. What I'm doing here is I am forcing her to spend two of her mana to kill this. I'm willing to spend a card to capture... 40% of her mana for the turn because I'm behind and I need I need time to draw into my end game So I'm okay with her like not playing five drops or four drops here She's gonna frost bolt that oh, she's gonna leave actually. I'm really I am really 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 happy with that So I ate a frost bolt She didn't develop her board at all And now thanks to being at six mana I can play the soul priest and burdenate the countryside And now I'm gonna be drawing equal as the first player which is great in my book. I have a handful of fours. This mind games will almost certainly be the last thing I play. Light spawn's not very good with a soul priest in play because if the mage pings it down, I can't heal it back up to its former glory. I wonder. She could just play a big minion here though and catch right back up. That is a fact. Yeah, that's what she does. Well, the good news is, I can play Senjin and burn this Frost Elemental. So if she doesn't have a Shattered Sun Cleric, it will trade with the Senjin. So my 4-drop will, will essentially trade into her 6-drop, which is pretty good. There's Cabal Shadow Priest. I can't remember if I took one of these or two of these. I need to look at that between games to see. Um, it's not super likely I'll have a target for this, but it's possible. Alright, so she is going to get the kill ping my thing a little bit. It's actually very annoying because I now have to ping this, and otherwise I would have been able to kill that. Alright, so I can mind vision, and I will because I'll have the mana left over anyway. Let's see if I get a good card here. Archmage, not exactly what I wanted. 
let's do that. And this is actually just so bad on the board. I don't know. Um, well, that's just mind games. That is bad. It's not enough to kill the dark scale healer. And I've already I already had to use the burn to kill the frost mage or the uh, the frost elemental because of the healer. Yeah, that healer was just really good. The body and the ability were both extremely relevant for my opponent. I got a 3 mana minion for 4 mana, and it's not even a good 3 mana minion here, unfortunately. Are you ready for this? There's the Archmage that I, that I stole. Oh my god, gets picked. So I'm gonna have to leave her with spell damage on the field, which I'm not happy about at all. Dark Iron Dwarf doesn't let me get anywhere. <laughs> god. Alright, we're gonna do this. Ready for this? It is very hard. God, that stupid dark scale healer essentially killed like three of my minions. So Archmage versus Archmage, the difference is, is that a mage gets much more value out of, out of an Archmage than a priest does. Barring, you know, Holy Novas and other silly things. Like a fireball will kill this thanks to spell damage, but I don't have anything like a fireball. She has a fireball! That's awful. Oh my goodness. Leave me alone, people. All right. So finally, I actually have something to steal. Not the most impressive thing. Oh, never mind. Holy Nova really needs to happen. Yes, it really does. We're gonna Holy Nova and play a light spawn. Note that the Dark Iron Dwarf will not buff a Light Spawn because the Light Spawn's text overrides the Dark Iron Dwarf's buff. See, the Dark Iron Dwarf would want to make this a 7-5, but the Light Spawn's attack is always equal to its health, so you can't, um, can't do anything about it. And here's one of the problems with Light Spawn. So she pings it, damages it, then the Archmage finishes it off. She's actually starting to fireball my face. Man, that takes a lot of confidence to fireball a, a priest's face. Uh, knowing the priest can heal. But she's got a lot of power here. God damn it. 4-8. Yeah, I can't afford to waste any time healing myself. I'm just gonna play out my minions, and if I lose, I lose. That is the third fireball here, and it will be enough for the kill. Well, that sucked. I just never really got my footing that game. That start was too slow. Her start was very fast. The key turn really was when she played Scarlet Crusader, and then on the next turn, on turn four, she had enough mana to kill my stupid monkey and play a two-mana minion. If she hadn't played that two-mana minion, I think I would have been fine. I would have had enough board presence to deal with her threats. So that was too bad. It's possible also that the order in which I played my four drops was not correct, but really the fact that Mind Games gave me a bad minion combined with the fact that she had a dark scale healer was just uh, proved to be too much for me to deal with in that game. Even being a priest against a mage, which is a favorable matchup. The cheat, 638. I wonder if that is a Homestar Runner reference. Alright, well, my good luck continues getting these two drops. I will mulligan my endgame removal in the Temple Enforcer. Mind vision? Well, I got lots of mind visions. It's a bit sad that Power Word Shield cannot be played on Fairy Dragons. A little, little bit of an, a non-bow here in my deck. Do you people see this? I mean, really now. Really. The, like, my last three mind visions on, on turn one that I've played across Hearthstone have all been coins. That is a hundred, one in 125 odds. One in 25 odds just for this, for this run. The two times I've Mind Vision on turn one, I've gotten a coin both times. I mean, that's really pretty crazy, folks. Pretty crazy. Well, I'm going to use it, because why not? Uh, get Ascension out. I mean, I could have waited, because now I'm going to have nothing to do on turn four besides, like, Power Word Shield. But, I mean, I might as well, right? Otherwise, I was just going to pass on turn three. Might as well make something happen. So, he's going to use his coin. Hopefully not to Shadow Word Pain, my Shield Master. 
No, just to play an injured blade master. Ah, I see. It's got the kaka combo going there. Okay. Well, let's draw a card. And it's a minion. Hmm, if I let this live, it'll become a 4-7. Oh, uh, then I can just copy it with Faceless. So yeah, I'm gonna just take the card advantage here. And call it a day. Plus, if he spends half his mana healing this, that's fine. Ah, this stuff now. So he now gets to draw a card and make that a 4-7. Well, hopefully he doesn't have um, a Holy Smite to finish the Sension off. He does not. So this is a really, really important moment. First, you kill the Northshire Cleric. And then you heal your Sengen. Although, do I even need to heal this engine? Honestly, it's still going to die to that just as well. Hmm. Maybe I don't even need to do that. I could copy a 4-4 four, four for 5 mana. But it's a 4-4 four, four that I can heal up later. So let's do this. I'm going to copy that. And... Do I just 2 for 1 right now? If I don't, this will be at 3 health. The Fairy Dragon can kill it. Alright, we'll take a little risk. And keep getting damage through. I mean, he's down below 20. He's got to be a little bit little bit careful here. Oh my lord. Well, he's actually going to trade. Interesting, he didn't want to heal up and kill it, so he's got something else to do with 2 mana. He must. Or else that makes no sense. He wanted to play a Light Well. I see. I see. Well, I'm not sure I really agree with that move, but I'm not going to complain either. Let's play the Argent Commander. Kill the Lightwell. Kill the Rifleman. We're looking pretty good here. I could have actually dealt 9 damage to him, taking him down to 10, but I feel like it was worth it to clear his board. Might as well play it safe here. I don't really see what I'm, in, I'm under threat of. Squire, attend me. Okay. Okay. Shadow over death is not helpful. Let's play Stormwind Champion and think. So now I can hit him for 12 damage, down to 7. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Let's... Let's see. Let's do it like this. That. And that. So I'm still getting some damage through, keeping up some nice board presence. And I got this for 2 more burn damage if need be. That's not super impressive right now. And Alarmabot is really not impressive. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Okay, before we do anything else, let's Mind Vision, see what else he's holding on to. Maybe a Shadow Word Pain that doesn't have any targets. Wow! Really? That's what you got for me? Alright. Well, let's kill this engine. I'm really not that afraid of Alarmabot. I've, like, never been bitten by ignoring it. Plus, even if he does get a huge minion, I can Shadow Word Death, so whatever. He's got a Wind Fury Harpy. Well, like, okay, so he got a 6 mana minion for 3 mana, but it's got Summoning Sickness. It's, it's it's not able to attack right now. So what's he doing? It's just dumb. And I've got this, like, board full of death facing his way. You have best and he recognizes that and concedes. Well, well, that was the mirror match. And we crushed the other guy. It's like he wasn't even a priest. So priest, as I've said before, is my most consistent class in the Hearthstone arena by a long shot. It really is remarkable. In, let me take a quick look at my stats sheet here. In 25 runs with priest, I have gotten to six or higher 21 times. And I've never gotten below three. So it is, uh, it's also got currently my highest average overall with 7.1 wins per run. The only other class with 7 is Shaman at 7.0, and Hunter recently dipped to 6.9. It was at 7 for a while. We're going to just keep our cheapest minion. Okay, so my luck finally runs out a little bit. I've got the Abusive Sergeant, but I think playing it on turn 1 is a bit foolhardy. Since my opponent can just kill it and she might not have anything better to do anyway. Got this, which is good. Mana Worm, honestly. Mana Worm. Okay, well, let's see if my opponent has a Frost Bolt or a Mirror Image. No, she doesn't have Mirror Image. She would have Coin Mirror Image if she'd had it. So, this is just uh, Frost Bolt. That would really be the best card here. 
To a lesser extent, arcane missiles would be good as well. Sniper Grizzly. Man, these Grizzlies have been wrecking me. The fact that it's taunt and preventing me now from killing this mana worm with abusive sergeant is just obnoxious. The torn warrior doesn't even hold up. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, we're gonna have to do this, which I hate doing, but that was that was the best option. I mean, this just dies. So, what do I get? What do I get out of it? This is where I really wish that thing had been a three-two rather than a two-three. That would have killed off the grizzly. Oh, shizzly. All right, she's gonna ping off my abusive sergeant. At least she's not building up any more board presence, though. I hope. Good. And blue Girl warrior is not good enough, man. What's up with all these two toughness things? So the real problem here is that if she has any kind of a spell, she can just buff the Mana Worm and kill it. This Mana Worm is a real menace. Spiteful Smith could hold up against it, but it dies to Polymorph and Fireball. I'm on the back foot and have been from pretty much turn one this game. She's going to run in, ping it off with her overpowered hero ability. At least she spent her whole turn doing that. I could Bluegill Warrior to kill it, but let's play the Smith. I need to, I need to build up some board presence here. She needs to have a Fireball or a Polymorph, or this is actually kind of difficult to deal with. Well, Frostbolt, and she could two for one. Because it would deal three, and then the Mana Worm would grow, and then she could deal three more. But if she doesn't have a poly Frostbolt, Polymorph, or Fireball, improbable as all those things are, I could actually be in pretty good shape. Wow, this is very weak. This is very weak indeed. She's going to ping it on her turn, which is actually a good play. Now, I can heal it or I can blue go warrior uh, problem is if I blue go warrior then I'm not playing temple enforcer hmm okay well that's what we'll do I'm gonna mind vision see if she maybe has a something to deal with this or the arena that's a terrible card it's probably what she will play next turn though so let's do this and let's actually power word shield as well Fairy Dragon, okay. Well, I could heal this, but I would actually rather play Fairy Dragon than heal that, so let's just do that. And we got a big hand, so I need some of these minions to live in order to be able to um, hold up against her, but if she plays Lord of the Arena here, I'm going to be in trouble because I can't deal with it effectively. If she plays Lord of the Arena, honestly, I would just play my own Lord of the Arena and sit. Because a Stormman Champion... Well, the Stormman, actually, the Stormman Champion would let this kill her Lord of the Arena. Hmm... I think I would play a Stormman Champion there. Yep. Alright, we're gonna play Stormman Champion and trade. Not even trade, technically I actually live. So I use up all of my mana, kill that, survive at 4-4. Four, four. She has seven cards to my six, soon to be seven. I'm the first player, drawing equal. Good, good times. If I can get these out of my hand, I'll be in good shape, I think. She pings it off. Five mana left over, what you got? Fireball. Well, better now than earlier, I guess. Shadow Priest could be good later. All right. Well, I will play the Lord of the Arena here. Because I don't want to put the Temple Enforcer on the Fairy Dragon. That seems kind of silly. On turn 10, I could play Lightspawn Temple Enforcer, potentially. I would like to see her play something I can steal with the Priest. That would be ideal, because then I can, on turn 9, play this, and on turn 10, play this and this. Your magic shall not nope. Save. She's going to silence my Lord. Well, I can kill it unless she buffs it with a Shattered Sun Cleric or Defender of Argus. I'll put it on your uh, She's actually just going to... I see. Well, that's actually a pretty good move because this kills the Lord but survives against the Fairy Dragon. So that's kind of obnoxious. All right, here's how we're going to do it then. I'm going to beef up the Lord of the Arena. Farewell. Farewell. Do I play the monkey or do I heal this up? I will actually heal this up. That way, if she flame strikes, she has to ping this as well in order for it to die. She has seven cards to my six, soon to be seven. I'm ahead on life. This is looking good. This, these are pretty big minions. I mean, I'm hitting for 12 damage with just Your these two. She's going to silence it again, but because of the way that buffs work in Hearthstone, my health total actually stays the same, and the Fairy Dragon is ready to kill that Spellbreaker. Unless, of course, she has another Panda. Still nothing for my Shadow Priest. Mind Vision. Hmm. Well, let's think. I got 12, 15 damage. I'm gonna mind vision. If I if I if I steal a fireball, I win right now. Yeti. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll play the stupid monkey to make it difficult for her to get stuff through. Play the yeti. Let's hedge my bets, as I am so fond 
we will kill her board and still get some damage. That's not really hedging. I, I really just fully cleared her board there, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, Flame Strike will let her kill off everything but the Temple Enforcer. She'll have to ping the Yeti. And then, yep, okay, so that's what she's going to do. Now, I'm still doing fine card-wise and damage-wise as well. So I feel like things are looking pretty good here for me. Okay, let's swing there. There, there, and I even have mana left over to heal. If she flame strikes again, this can die, but this will live. Just gonna keep plinking away, although if she has another flame strike, she'll be sufficiently ahead on cards, and just have just enough health that she might be able to hang on. I don't have Holy Fire or any great finishers, just an Argent Commander, I think, is pretty much my only out, and then Holy Smite. But Holy Smite's not enough. I am waiting for her to play a minion I can steal with this priest. It's gotta come up at some point, right? Well, lots of early concessions here, which isn't too surprising because I do have a pretty overwhelming board there. Alright, 4 and 1. Pretty solid game so far. Oh, man. I just had one of those happy relationship moments. My girlfriend, um, okay, I asked my girlfriend if she wanted to play Settlers of Catan with her and some of her friends. They all need to learn how to play the game, and I wanted to teach them how to play it. And she said, I'm not sure, I'm kind of, uh, over-socialized. And I was like, oh, okay, well, do you want me to not come over tomorrow, if, you know, if you need a break? And she's like, just so you know, Boris, you're exempt from what I consider socializing. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. She wants to see me even when she's sick of people. That's how you know you're with someone good. So I am second against a rogue. That's awesome news. And I've got the plays here. I've got Mind Vision on turn one, and then I can coin a three drop on turn two and another on turn three. The issue is that these are not super offensive three drops, so it is possible that she just will play stronger minions and overwhelm me. She mulliganed two-thirds of her hand. And let's Mind Vision up. Hopefully she doesn't have an Argent Squire or anything like that, because that'd be annoying as hell. No, stop flicking your cards. Thank you. I could coin this, but then I have nothing to do next turn, so I might as well. Mind vision. I got Eviscerate. Oh, that's a good card. Well, now I know she has an Eviscerate, but it's probably not going to eat a particularly valuable target. Just a 2-mana or a 3-mana minion, most likely. Unless, of course, she has, say, at least say she makes a dagger and then backstabs this. I don't know. It, it could still go badly for me, I suppose. Hmm. Hum, indeed. She's gonna make a dagger. I don't think it's a good idea to hit priests in the face with a dagger, because it just gives them a target for their hero ability, when otherwise they might have had nothing to do. Now, I will... Which of these do I play? I think I'm going to play Fairy Dragon, because it's immune to backstab. A little bit more difficult for her to kill this. And then I'm sick of people playing Grizzlies and me not being able to kill them. Now, it's good that I drew another 2-drop, because it means I have an option now. I can play the Blood Soil Raider Coin Eviscerate, if need be, to take out a target of hers. Otherwise, I could just play this guy, if she doesn't put up a credible threat. All in all, though, I would say this is not a particularly good hand of cards. Just a bunch of the mediocre junk. And then this, but uh, this Argent Commander, while, while good, is not playable just yet. It's going to hit me in the face again and remake the dagger. This is a very slow start by the opponent. Very slow indeed. Well... Since I know that she has Eviscerate, I'm going to play the Acolyte. The reason being there that the Acolyte is not a good target for the Eviscerate. This is, but the Acolyte isn't. And hopefully I can kill whatever she plays with Eviscerate myself. Even if it's a Yeti, I don't mind throwing the Acolyte in for a card. And then doing the other 4 damage with Eviscerate. Oh my god, what is this opponent doing? She might just have a hand completely filled with removal. She's doing nothing but daggering. Lord. Wow. Okay. Well. 
Do I play this knowing it will certainly die? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Or do I thought steal? You know what? I am going to play this because honestly, it's turn five. It's turn five. She's probably got stuff to play. So I want to make her ch have to choose between um, playing a big minion or, or using the Eviscerate to, to kill something of mine. So the means, this means that I cannot play this next turn, which is a downgrade of my option of, of the choice I made. But I think it's all right. All right, she's got a pretty big Twilight Drake. Four eight is actually quite large. But notice how she didn't eviscerate this thing because she had other th stuff to do. Okay, can I kill this? Let's see. I can Holy Smite it down to six. Eviscerate down to two. I could three for one into it. It's a little bit awkward. I don't think that's really worth it. I think we'll Thought Steal. Oh my gosh, she has Mind Control Tech in her deck. Interesting. And I could Eviscerate this thing. I could have actually hold, I could actually Holy Smite this and hit for five. That's still a three for one though in the end. Hmm. Okay, well. I'm gonna take a little risk and I will actually Eviscerate. The reason is that next turn, the Argent Commander could finish off the Twilight Drake, but that would cost all of my mana, so I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't eviscerate right now. Truth is my shield. Oh, jeez. Sunwalker's a pretty good card. And a backstab for the Raider. Right, well, she's starting to play just really, really good cards and overwhelm me a little bit here. Roman Champion, that could have been good in another life. Um, I could run everything into this Sunwalker, that would technically work. I could also Holy Nova to kill the Drake and pop the Divine Shield. I could run this in, draw a card, Holy Nova, kill this, take Son of Three. Spend my whole turn clearing out her board. Nah, I'd rather build up my own board than clear out hers, and that was a 3-for-1 Twilight Drake that she had, FYI. I didn't play around Betrayal quite right, I should have kept the Fairy Dragon in the middle. Though Betrayal on this isn't the greatest, actually it doesn't matter, she can kill the Acolyte with the Sunwalker anyway. She's gonna assassinate the Drake, well that's good, that means the Stormwind Champion's not getting assassinated, so that's a plus. And she even gets to do that. And kill off the Fairy Dragon. You know, I really should have popped the Divine Shield with that, shouldn't I? Ah, Cabal Shadow Priest. Is that better than Holy Nova? Hmm. I think so. Let me, change your Let me just mind. take this before it becomes bad. Do I do this to draw a card? Nah. Just pass the turn. This might actually fire, potentially. Depending on how she wants to play out her turn. Kind of amazed, though, that given how slow her start was, she's actually really in pretty good shape. Just gonna eviscerate that. And throw away the bandit, I presume? Yep. Just gonna kill off my acolyte for me. Fair enough. And swing him in the face. Well, this is certainly a big card. Let's mind vision up. Maybe I'll get an assassinate or something? No, I got that thing. Alright. Well, we get to kill this. We will put the power word shield on that. Swing. And she's got to be a little bit careful of being burned out here. The reason I put Power Word Shield on this is that she wants to kill with the giant the more damaging of my creatures. And the Power Word Shield is going to gonna save it anyway. There's her second Twilight Drake. This one's not as big as the first. She heals up her team. So this is starting to become a little overwhelming. She's got like 16 damage worth of stuff here. And I can't even clear out her board at all. Nor can I use Mind Control Tech. Well, I think this is the time to play the Warden. Kind of delay the inevitable. Get some damage through. Don't mess with us. I am running into mind control tech here, but I have to take the risk of her having drawn it because I need to get as much board presence as I can. She can actually kill off all everything. She can actually kill off everything except for the piglet, and she can even kill the piglet with her dagger. Oh my gosh, wow, she's just got all the stuff. Super endgame rogue here. You know, I don't think I'm quite going to make it in time. I've already used my Argent Commander and my Holy Smite. She has, like, 
a ridiculous amount of damage. Holy Nova would let me kill off one of these things, but not the other. Oh my gosh, I have mind control tech. <laughs> right. Yes, let's do that. It, it could save me if I get one of the giants. Ah, uh, did not get one of the giants. All right, well, we're going to do this then. And swing at her face. So what I'm doing here is I'm making it so she has to spend time killing my minions. Or else she herself dies. Problem is, she can actually clear my board and be fine. What is up with all these three toughness creatures? And she has another assassinate, so she doesn't even have to use her minions to attack it. Crap. She can now clear my board out completely. I don't have any damage. She's got nine health. I needed mind control tech to steal a giant, and it just didn't do that. That coin flip cost me the game. She's gonna shiv the pig, even. She just shiv. Oh, she misclicked and shivved the giant. I don't know why that. Well, anyway, that was just a misclick, obviously. All right, so I can deal two, four, five damage. She's at four health. Not good enough. Well, let's holy nova. Let's kill the flesh and ghoul. Let's do that. Kill the giant. The damage golem. I mean, I've got a chance in hell. It's just I don't have enough direct damage. I really need, needed a holy fire in this deck. Or mind blast. Uh, okay, so you're gonna kill the golem with the giant. Now, I could still kill this with soul priest that I have in here. She's actually gonna take two damage. Well, that's risky. Oh my god. What is with the dark scale healers today? Did, did I miss some kind of dark scale healer memo? Lord. Okay, now this is bad. This is bad. Problem is, she can again clear out my entire board without too much trouble. And then she's got two cards left. She needs to not have these two cards in order for me to have a chance. The good news is if these are bad cards, she might have a hard time clearing out my board. So there's the other giant dead. Dark Iron Dwarf. How's it gonna go down? Stormwind Knight. That's a pretty good way to get rid of it, man, with these one health creatures. Well, now a Holy Nova could actually clear out most of her board. Deal two more damage. I think I still have another Holy Nova in here, don't I? I, I the fact that I'm still surviving is kind of amazing to me. Light Spawn. Well, it's not good, but it's not doing me any good in my hand, so I might as well throw it out to die. Uh, she can, like, run in with the healer, and then it'll be a 1-1, and she can use the Razor Vent Hunter to finish it off without losing another minion to it. Or well, she can do that and play Eviscerate and kill it. Nope, she doesn't have the Eviscerate. That's good. She's actually gonna use the dagger risky business there, putting her awfully close to Holy holy Fire, which she does not know that I don't have. Spiteful Smith. Okay, well, gotta play it. Heal up. She's definitely got the advantage here and is overwhelmingly likely to win, but it is possible if I get a Holy Nova, then I can, or, or a Soul Priest. Soul Priest would be really good. You know, if I take in Circle of, you know, this could have been a Circle of Healing. I would have, I would have lost though, because I didn't have the, the Soul, the Soul Priest to back it up with, but. Ah, uh, well played. I need a Shadow Word Death. I do think I have one in the deck. The problem is that she's still got this five power hitting me every turn. Six with the dagger and she's drawing cards still, of course. Use of Sergeant is not helpful, but I will keep it in my hand. I don't think I have any more charge creatures, but in case I misremember, I would like to be able to play a charge creature with that Abuse of Sergeant and maybe win. I don't know. This was kind of a frustrating game. Sea Giant, Mountain Giant, and I just couldn't push through enough damage with her epically slow start. That Twilight Drake was so good. That Twilight Drake was really what let her win. Temple Enforcer is not going to help, so well played and concede. Let us eat some conciliatory chocolate to feel better about ourselves. Nom, nom, nom. Where beaver. Good name. Okay, four and two. Actually kind of unimpressive considering how strong the winds have been coming to this deck. Being in four and two is not that good. I'd be kind of sad if this run did not make it to six, because I feel like the deck is alright. 
Well, no, I said at the beginning I thought the deck was bad. Yeah, fine. If I don't make it to six, then so be it. The light shall bring victory. Okay. Do you keep Holy Nova here? It could be ineffective. But because I'm the second player, I will keep it. If I were first, I wouldn't. Okay. This is more of what I'd expect from this deck. Pitiably slow start. Mind if I roll need? Okay. Even though I have nothing to do next turn, I'm gonna play Accolade. Speak to me. Hopefully, I can kill this loot hoarder, draw a card, and draw another card as well later. And with two card draws for the turn, hopefully one of them will be three mana or less. Or at least something like a power word shield or a mind vision so I can do something. I can wait until Nat Pagel, well, here's the nerf Nat Pagel. It draws at the start of your turn instead of at the end. I'm just fine with that because it's not immediate pressure. Oh, please don't tell me you have an abusive sergeant or something stupid. Okay, no, he doesn't. He's just, he just likes to flick cards. Kill the loot hoarder, we each draw a card, but I get to keep this thing on the board, and I get a Temple Enforcer. That's unfortunate. So I could heal my Acolyte, but I'd rather take this opportunity to draw some cards, and I'm glad I did, because now I have a good play next turn. True Silver Champion is pretty sweet. It will kill most things he could play, and pretty much anything, with the Acolyte of Pain throwing in for a fifth point of damage if need be. Ah, uh, he's not going to let me have any of that, though. He's just going to kill off the Acolyte. Well, the Acolyte was good for two cards. And the Dark Iron Dwarf was buffed a while back, so it's just a temporary buff. I will, in fact, play True Silver Champion to kill the Dark Iron Dwarf here. And he passes the turn. He draws a card, so he's replaced himself. Actually, don't, I don't think he drew, he, drew, he drew a card the first time. We have both Stormwind Champions here. So we have all the cards in the universe, but we just need to be able to play them. Not on my Put a Divine Shield on Nat. Whatever. I don't really care about that too much. Okay. Do I Holy Nova here? I don't think so. I think we're just going to play Light Spawn. And True Silver Champion. Nat, Heart of Protector. I could have been greedier and set myself up for a Holy Nova by popping a Divine Shield, but I didn't actually want to do that because I want to play my minions. I don't want to play Holy Nova if I can help it. Holy Wrath. Oh god, please suck. And of course, my opponent gets the 4 power Holy Wrath, whereas mine always do like 2 or 0. I'm just going to draw a card off Blessing of Wisdom. I actually don't mind him drawing cards because I've drawn so many cards, but it's okay. Um, We'll just actually do this. That seems like a fine use of my time. Nat Pagel has drawn a couple of cards. Now again, I still don't really care about him drawing cards because really I have so many cards from the Thought Steel and the Acolyte that it's just fine for him to catch up. Obviously I'd like to kill this at some point, but I have I, if I have a choice between killing this or killing actual minions that deal damage, I will always kill the actual minions that deal damage. So my game plan is to play a Stormwind Champion and then ne the next turn copy it. That is mm. what I hope I can do. He's going to Hammer of Wrath. Well, still planning to play Stormwind Champion here. And he's just going to make a humble recruit with all of those cards. All right, a bit scary when a Paladin has that many cards and minions. But we're going to go for it. Okay, that has drawn three cards now. Oh, God, this card is still so stupid. So yes, now, now that card has been officially ridiculous. I'm drawing as it did three cards and still hanging around. Now what's next? Tyrion Forge Ring? Wouldn't I actually mind for him to play a really big minion here. Because I could Shadow Word Death, Faceless Manipulator, Storm and Champion, and, and then just go to town. That'd be pretty great. Nope, he's gonna do that. Does he have a way to kill the Storm Enchamp? Pin off? I assume he does. Is he gonna use Elven Archer? Not on he's gonna give it to my shield. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I think here is where maybe I should Holy Nova. 
much as I hate to throw away my Storm and Champion into that. Uh, it just feels like, well, you know what? Holy well, you Nova know leaves me with three mana. I could play this dude. Okay, we'll do it. So I'm going to do that. Holy Nova. And finally kill off Nappy. So I'm hoping that these two will trade. Of course, a Blessing of Kings or Divine Shield will put an end to those dreams. But I kept the Storm and Champion alive, which is what I really wanted to be able to do. While clearing out most of his board. He's got tons of cards, so do I. This is a real chess match here. The card draw numbers are just are deceptive. It shows 11 for him, 16 for me, but that should say 14. Because I drew... Well, it shouldn't say 14. I mean, that's the correct number. 16 is the correct number. But it, it's like it says 14 because I have two from Thought Steel. He's got a true silver champion. He finally drew the one that I thought stole, which means he will get to kill this guy. Kill my Stormwind champion. And still have five mana to work with, which is annoying as hell. But that's life. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So obnoxious. So, so obnoxious! Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Well, now that was a really, like, epic turn there. Uh, this guy was just gonna die. Fuck. Ah, uh, screw it. Make him have to work to kill this so that this will drop. Or you can use True Silver on this and then have to work to kill the Stormwind anyway. Probably throw these two guys away for the Stormwind Champion. True Silver this. Leave himself with this and 10 mana to work with. Yeah, he's coming out ahead. I'm actually going to lose this game. I can't believe. Well, I can. You know, I thought the deck was bad when I drafted it. Then I had some really solid wins, so I thought maybe it was good. But no. No, it is bad. The curve is just too high. Can't play any of my cards because my good ones are also expensive. He is two for winning himself at least. And he is using True Silver Champion. The problem is he has a billion cards in 10 mana. This game, really, the Nat Pagel, I guess, and all those cards just did, did it for him. Squire, Squire attend, attend me. Ready, sir. Yeah. Squire, oh, Jesus attend. Christ. Seriously? Ready, well, I need Holy Nova now. And even the Holy Nova doesn't actually work very well. Okay, we're gonna do this. Burn one of them off. <sighs> Can I even afford to do that? My mind games here, hope to get something good. Nope, we're just gonna... Howard Shield. Oh, that would have been actually pretty good to have. It's Mind Vision. Let's see what he's holding on to over there. Cult Master. Okay. Yeah, he's way ahead. It's gonna be extremely difficult for me to establish any kind of board presence here. He has a Stormwind Champion. That's a problem. Enrage his stuff. Hit me for lots of damage. My young priestess. Oh, I need Holy. I need Holy Nova. Oh my God, I really need Holy Nova. Seriously, badly. No, it doesn't die to Holy Nova anymore, and I didn't get Holy Nova anyway. So who cares? Okay, uh, let's copy that, and then Shadow Word Death. Heal. Actually, it doesn't matter. He has, he has lethal damage. God. What a dumb game. Well, at least we made it to four wins. This now busts my amazing consistency with Priest. And ruins the streak I had going there. My last six runs with Priest were all six or higher. 5, 9, 11, 15, 17. He had exactly lethal damage here, and he missed it. Sadly, he still probably loses, but it does give me a window, because if I draw my other Holy Nova, that does kill almost everything he has. Grabashi Berserker. Well, that would have been good in another life. The Ball Shadow Priest could steal that. Nope, no Holy Nova. Well, let's mind games, because I don't know. Maybe there's a Tyrion Forging in his deck? Who knows? Locked and loaded. Yes, indeed. So, four wins. Gah. Four and one, now we're four and three. That rogue, I should have... I think if I had drafted better, I could have beaten that rogue. That paladin? I don't know. He had a pretty 
He had a pretty good draw. I'm not sure if I could have beaten the Paladin with better drafting. So if you enjoyed that video, do please like and or subscribe. And stay tuned for more Hearthstone Arenas. They will be coming. It, ah, 20 dust. Almost got more gold there, but still 55 gold is pretty good for four wins. I'll take it. Still be above 6,000 after purchasing my next arena. Epic. Oh, no. I already have... Oh, actually, no, no, no. This, that is a new epic. That is that is new. I think I have a I have a single golden pyrobl pyroblast, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, I have a single golden one, and I got a regular one. I used to have two, but when it got nerfed, I disenchanted them to get dust, and it paid off because I had just got some dust. So just the commons... I can't click the back button because of that fucking animation. Ugh. Well, I'm just gonna have to get used to it, I guess. And there's no going back to the olden days. Rogue Warlock or Shaman is gonna be up next. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know what it's gonna be. Well, probably not uh, Rogue, because I have a little bit more games with Rogue now. Maybe Warlock, maybe Shaman. See you next time, folks. Till then.